Thank God it didn't happen in my 100 Terrace video. About a month ago, I posted a YouTube short that would change my life. Some of you know exactly what I'm talking about, and if you don't, here it is. Now, before you see me bottle flip on the Hollywood sun, I just wanted to say that if this video gets 300 likes, I will sleep at the Hollywood sign. One of the main things you probably noticed is that I said if I got 300 likes on that video, I would sleep at the Hollywood sign. Well, little did I know it would absolutely blow up, gaining over 20 million views and over 2 million likes. As you saw in the short, the cops were not happy with me. And yes, that was real. The issue is if I'm gonna spend the night, I cannot be seen at all. So I got some camouflage. I was packing all of my essentials. It was all fun and games, my energy was high, until things got very serious and honestly kind of scary. A frightening crime wave has swept over West Hollywood. It has seen a dramatic increase in crime this year. Los Angeles' crime has been rising through the roof. Not only does this put me in danger, it means there are more police around. There's a new plan this morning to put more police on the street to fight the problem. So I had a whole plan of going there and how I was going to get there and sleeping there and stuff, but that is out the window. There is no more plan anymore. We are now just driving there. Now that we have no plan and we're going to sleep there, the nerves are just rising and rising. So I got a bag full of names right here and all these people in here commented on my last video. So throughout this video, I'm going to pull some out and they're going to be some shout outs. So the first shout out of the video goes to if I can get up name. Anonymous Animations. Wow, it just got really real really fast. <laughs> Goodbye car. See you hopefully tomorrow. And after our 20 minute walk, I was weirdly excited to see wood. Come on, like the end of the sign. Jeez, people. All right, now that we are here, we're gonna do one last shout out before we climb up there. I don't wanna let people know that we're climbing. This one, Gorilla Baller. Shout out to Gorilla Baller. Thank you for commenting, my guy. But this is where things start to get serious. Soon after arriving, we noticed that there was a police car already sitting on top of the hill behind the sign. We needed to figure out some things about the police before we started. Is he really in the car? Can he see us? And are we going to be able to do this? And very soon after, we heard this. So we knew he was definitely in his car, and on top of that, a police helicopter came. Now this spooked us a little bit, so we decided to start the climb when it got dark out. Right when we were going to do it, some other people tried and instantly got caught. They came out with flashlights and everything, so we knew they could see us. We came up with a plan with a path that was doable but very hard. So we started and right when we started the helicopter returned, but this time with a spotlight. So at this point, our third question of are we gonna be able to do this seemed impossible, but we had to try. Now this is where you guys really gotta stick with me in order to see us at the sign. I didn't have a night vision camera and we couldn't use a light or really even talk because then we would have gotten caught. So since I couldn't really talk, instead of you guys watching clips like this, uh, we're dying. I'm gonna narrate you. Anyways, we started our climb and slowly inched our way to the sign. After about two hours of climbing and hiking, we found a spot to sleep. It is 10, 11, we are at the sign. The sign's right up there. I can't really see anything, but I have my sandwich I'm going to eat. So right here, I'm going to take a shout out. The last shout out of the night. This shout out is <laughs> Bora. It's Bora. I know what it's Bora. Shout out to Bora. Hey, that's the boy. That is the boy. We picked a spot that wasn't too far away from the sign, but far enough so that we couldn't be seen easily or heard. I even peed, which was probably the most amazing view I've had while peeing. <laughs> like seriously, it was incredible. But then at around about 12.30 a.m., I was getting ready to try and fall asleep until we started to hear a pack of coyotes. On top of being scared for my life, we were laying on a slope right next to a cliff and on dirt with huge rocks everywhere. So safe to say I wasn't gonna sleep at all. For the next few hours, we just sat there and enjoyed our view. Like I said, we couldn't use a light and I didn't have a night vision camera. So all the things I had planned, we just couldn't do. So that really bummed me out. But we're almost there. 3 a.m. rolled around and it got really horrible. We contemplating leaving, it was so bad. He sucks balls. Yeah, no, no, he's not kidding, this really sucks. And around this time, we heard some kids walking at the sign yelling and there were no police yelling back. So we figured they left. We weren't 100% sure, so we still didn't want to use the light, but we agreed we could finally talk normally. You cannot see me, but. It is 4.09 now. I mean, 
the Hollywood sign is right up there. Kind of crazy. We're going to slowly start moving camp closer to the Hollywood sign so we can be there for the sunrise. And that we did. We got closer and waited for our time to go up to the sign. And by the way, those kids never made it to the sign because they got too scared, so we still weren't 100% sure about the cops. After a little while, we decided to start to go up towards the sign. Here we go. Making our final way out to the sign. And after getting closer and closer to our goal and a pretty crazy hike, we made it. But the challenge wasn't over yet. The sun still wasn't out. We sat up against the L of the sign, even though this was a huge W, and really reflected back. Even though there were a lot of police, a helicopter with a spotlight, and we hated every second of trying to sleep, we still set out with our goals and accomplished them. Then, the sun came up. So of course I snapped a few pics. See, last time I was walking down this path, I was getting yelled at by policemen. But now it's at my own free will. <laughs> give, give a yell. <laughs> that was nice. That was a nice yell. Thank you.